Okay, in this video we're going to use GeoGebra to analyze the derivative of a parabola. What I'm going to first do is set up my function f of x equals x squared over 2 plus 1. And this is a nice choice for several reasons, which we'll see in a moment. Then I'm going to use my tool over here to create a new point on that parabola. I highlight the parabola and click. And then I grab my move tool. And I just want to move the point around to make sure I actually placed it on the line, and I did. Next thing I'm going to do is create a tangent line at point A. So, set up my tangent, click point A, and then the parabola, and now that gives me the tangent line all right, at point A for the function f. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the tangent as a variable, so I'll set lowercase t equal to the tangent and this will allow me to then come back in a moment and use that variable as a name in further commands so I set it equal to a variable and that's t and now I could say stuff like okay well here's another variable slope slope will be a variable because it's going to equal the slope of the tangent line or of t and there it shows me that slope at that of the function at that point and we can see that in the line. Now what I'm going to do is create a point B. So B, uppercase B, equals x in parentheses A, and that tells GeoGebra create a point B so that the first value, the x value, is the same as the x value of your A point. So those x values will match. And I want the y value of B to be equal to the slope. And I've already defined slope as being equal to the slope of the tangent line. So point B, oops, point B will actually have an x value, right, that's equal to point A, and a y value that's equal to our slope. Let me just fix that. And there it is. So notice B is sitting down here. Why? Well, because the x value of B matches A, but the y value is going to match the slope of our function at A. As I move this along, you can see that the height of B is changing. Right? And students might wonder why this is happening, and GeoGebra allows them to explore that. What's nice is they might realize right away when the parabola is turning, at some point B reaches zero. And that makes sense. The slope of A is right zero as well. So there might be certain points if they look at or focus at where A is, that might make sense of B. But maybe we need more. And one thing that's fun is to think about, you know, as I scroll along this parabola, what kind of path will B follow? And if we're not able to see that, we can right-click at point B, turn the trace on, and now, this is nice, as I move point A, B goes along and forms a trace of its path. And students should be able to conclude that right, this derivative right, forms a linear relationship with the slope. So here we can see B right, going up and down along this line. In fact, that's a linear relationship. Alright, hope this helped.